up, Pokénuts? My name is Rocksox, and welcome back to my run of... to my randomized Nuzlocke run of Pokémon Fire Red. I almost said Ultraviolet for a second. Oops. So, in the last episode, I lost miserably to a, uh, an Electro... Magneton. What was I thinking? Electrode. To a Magneton, and I started the whole run over. So I got my starter Anya back, I got Damien back, and I also picked up a Chimco named Tink, and Grace the Snubble. Damien is the only boy on the team at the moment. That is interesting. Okay, so... I am going to speed through some training. I might cut it out or I'll do a compilation. We will see what happens. We are done with a like hour and a half long training session and everyone is on level 10. I think Grace is my strongest Pokemon at the moment. Yeah, Grace is the strongest by a long shot. Unfortunately, defense and HP is, you know, not awesome. Okay, Tank has the best defense, but attack sucks, and we don't have good attacks. So honestly, my best chance for beating Gary is using Grace and Anya. I think Anya's defense is pretty low though. Yeah, 10. It's not helpful. Um, let's let's just see how this goes. There's really not much else I can do, is there? Unless I train more. We're gonna train some more. I'm not ready for Gary yet. Okay, I came all the way up here to fight against Blissey, and I also found a Polyrath. So, 
Um, Grace is now up to level 13. Yes, I know, very close to the a level cap. But that is because at level 13 she learned Bite. And now I feel ready to take on Gary. So, yeah, at the moment everyone is just kind of cowering behind Grace because we kind of need her. She's become our saving grace, one would say. Wait, how am I doing on potions? I might regret it if I don't get more. Also, in that patch of grass where I'm heading to, like above that to Pike Gary, but in that patch of grass, I found Shuppet as well. Like, there were very, very few of them, but they are there. Oh gosh, I can't even afford more, po more potions. That sucks. I mean, I guess I could sell an antidote to get one, but... I... let us just have some faith in Grace. I did heal, right? Not me being completely nervous about this. Actually, let's look at her. Her HP has gone up a lot. Her attack is up a bit. Her def I thought her defense would be a bit higher. But that's okay. It is fine. I like how we all like cowering behind her for protection. And her ability is run away. Like the irony. I hope they got stronger. Okay, Grace, fight. Oh, gosh. This is already off to a terrible start, isn't it? There we go. Okay, great. We are not taking any risks here. Come on. There you go. Um. They're using a potion. Because just now this thing decides to crit. Yay! Okay, we got the crit. Good girl, Grace. And we're still below the level cap. Okay. Goodbye, Gary. Okay, we are putting Tink in front. Because, uh... Actually, maybe we should put Damien in front. I cannot remember when Damien learns Acid. Oh, right, I wanted to put Tink in front because we go into the forest, so Weedles. By the trainers. From the trainers. Because... Okay, what Pokémon do we know is in the forest? There's Pupita. There's Sunflora. I feel like I did see something else, but now I cannot remember what it was. Let's go do some shopping. Spend our well-earned money. How am I doing on those? Um... Oh gosh. I can buy one Pokeball or one Antidote. We will just be fine with that. We will go and fight some trainers. And then we will catch a Pokemon. Also, I'm probably just gonna speed through it because 
you've already seen me do this. So yeah, as soon as we get through the doors, I'm just gonna speed my way through the trainers. And then I will be talking again when I go catch something. Okay, I think that was the last person I can fight without having to walk into the grass. So, let us go pick up the item that I missed down here. And then see if I run into anything. If I do not find a pubertar first, I will be disappointed. It's a bug! You know, I take it back, I'm not all that disappointed. Just one more Damien, but gentle like, okay? Gentle like. Right, um. You know, sing, right? Yes, you do. Nice job, one shot. Or one try. Who needs a Jigglypuff when you have an Anya? We have a Venomoth! Nice! Very nice. One thing that does annoy me about this kind of Pokedex, it doesn't show you the type and stuff. Like, considering how often I mix things up, that would be very helpful for me. Um... Venomoth, what are we gonna name you? We are gonna name you Mothisha, not Morticia. 
Motesha. Is that cute or cringy? I can't tell. I will be right back and when I do you will just get a little compilation of me training against Pokemon and fighting the last two trainers I think? Whatever, you'll see me when I'm at the end of Viridian Forest. Just need to get to the Pokemon Center before Tink faints. Okay, we made it. That is always a terrifying thing to do when you have to go to the Pokemon Center after something's been poisoned. I've had to do that a few times today. Okay, Matisha isn't doing too badly, so there's something I need to check on these two. Okay. I'm thinking about taking on Brock's gym with Grace. How much experience do you still have to go? Okay, that's gonna be cutting it like really close. So, um... I can probably start with Damien. For the trainer, and then switch to Grace for Brock. But uh, let us just save here. And then we shall take on Brock in this episode as well, because I I think we can do that without this video being too long. I don't know why I decided to walk behind there. Should probably get more potions first. Hopefully I can afford them. Yay! I can get two. It's gonna have to be enough. Okay, let us go take on Brock's gym. I'm feeling a little overly confident because um, in this gen, the move Bite is still a special attack and not a physical attack, so I feel like I can just bite my way through Bo Brock's Pokemon.
Okay. Put Grace in front. Also, that battle was the epitome of slow and steady. Oh, is his name actually Brock? Or do you only see it different when you start battling him? Anyways, um, that battle was the epitome of slow and steady wins the race. Hopefully this is going to go by quickly, though. I was right, we could just fight our way through that. Awesome! We have the boulder badge again. We have money. And we have rock too. Great. Now let us go do the most important thing to do here in Pewter. Let us get the running shoes. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are my favorite of all of the aides. I assume it's different people. And now I can run. Hang on. Look at me go. Yay, I can move so quickly. Let's go spend all of my hard-earned money. I would like some more Pokeballs. Definitely need some potions. Because... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Should I sell some of the Pokeballs? The thing is, they're so hard to catch around here. Ugh. I learned from the last time. Pokemon are going to be very fussy about being caught. Also, I'm literally just taking the opportunity to run around here aimlessly because um, Steps is going to help with getting Anya to evolve faster. But yeah, that is where I am ending this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like this video, share it if you think someone else will enjoy it, and if you're new and want to see the next episode as soon as it comes out, be sure to hit subscribe and book the bell. I'm posting new episodes every Fridays. So, what is going to happen next? I'm going through Mount Moon. Is Anya gonna evolve in there? What am I gonna find in there? What did I find last time? A Gengar. Am I going to get another Gengar? Am I going to get another Dragonair in the route before it? We will find out in the next episode. Bye!